welcome back to another edition of what's moving in the forex market and also a very happy new year as always keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice and i also encourage you to check out our list or a lineup of free webinars that we have each and every single week you can see a sample of what we've got coming up uh, this week two starting on monday january 4th we have another one thursday january 7th and like i said you can check the full schedule at www.pristine.com we'd love to have you there and answer any questions that you have taking a look at the forex market you know we've got the uh the overseas information out china down considerably i think they were even halted at at some point uh so a lot of weakness to kick off the new year euro us dollar here in the upper left <clears throat> as you can see was up earlier now down coming into a little support if it breaks this area we could be looking at a move all the way back down to this prior low here from late part of november so definitely a key level to be watching here um moving on over to aussie us dollar we're also seeing weakness here uh which which has us coming down into strength or or support which could result in some strength in the short term but overall uh, this this is weakening and probably continues to come down a bit more all right as far as new zealand dollar us dollar goes in the upper right this one is also coming into support and has also been in a bit more of an uptrend here where as opposed to the Aussie US dollar right this one's been making a series of higher highs and higher lows so if we're going to see strength I would expect more to be seen in New Zealand dollar US dollar as opposed to Aussie dollar US dollar but even having said that we do want to be a bit cautious here because this is a pretty nasty bar as you can see it's cracking two moving averages and so we want to heed that warning I'm not saying that we don't continue to move higher but this is some damage that will take some time to be repaired in all likelihood looking at the bottom right we've got US dollar yen and as you can see this has continued to weaken as this downtrend is in place we are getting a little bit of a recovery here as we're, we're starting to form a small tail down there which means buyers are stepping up but I really would expect that it, it does end up working its way back down and uh, just continuing to weaken if we look at the weekly chart here you can see it is on some support so plenty of reason as to why it's going to try and hold here and already has shown signs that it is trying to hold but uh, it's going to be interesting to see where we go from here I know do we do we break this level and continue lower or does this level hold and we rally back up and continue to just get get slopped around here in a weekly sideways trend so we'll see what happens but right now the daily weakness is in control and uh, that's that's kind of the bias that we want to have as far as US dollar Canadian dollar this one continues to be strong continues to be very strong it's going sideways here and we'll see if it can get over uh, the these highs right here then we go even higher you know th then I would expect that we make a higher high and continue on up uh, if we break under this range then we could start to see a bit more weakness coming in that's that's when we might start to see uh, a deeper pullback I'm not going to say a break of the trend but a deeper pullback can at that point be something where you could look to short maybe intraday weakness but at this point shorting is is not uh, in the cards if anything you want to be more biased to the long side and finally pound US dollar in the bottom left you can see